to make your window, we're going to start the sketch here on the front plane, which is the XY plane. We'll start out by doing the distance across the bottom of the windshield. And I'm not using actual measurements, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to type in 3 inches. And then if you've marked some points, we're going to come in and place the first point and you'll put in your dimensions in order to measure where it's at. Again, I didn't do actual measurements for this one, it's just an example how to lay it out. And we should have another point. And I'm going to do a three point arc that runs from the start at the origin to the far point and then comes through the other point that we measured. And then for the back side of the windshield, I'll click at this point click the end of the line and then what I'm looking for is when it turns tangent you'll see a little symbol pop up there and click to place it. Finish the sketch then we'll extrude this and again you would put in whatever distance that you measured the windshield to go across add a fillet to it going across the top edges and notice that will put the curve at the bottom edges of the windshield for you then I roll it over perform a shell and you're going to set the shell thickness to however thick the uh, windshield is when you measure it. To make the portion that extends down below that goes into the car, we're going to do an offset from plane. Click on the bottom edge of the windshield and then you're going to bring it down the distance that you measure from the bottom edge of the windshield to the bottom edge of the uh, part that inserts into the car. We'll create a sketch on this new plane. And here I usually use a rectangle. Try to avoid hitting any existing lines because if you do, it'll lock it into place and you can't dimension. So you'll place it there, you'll dimension across the piece, and then dimension so that you've centered it up in the middle of this direction. You can come in and place a fillet on the corner so that you get the rounded edges. and then do an offset click and drag it in and you want that distance to be the same as what you set the outside walls finish the sketch you'll do an extrude selecting just that outer ring and then change it from distance to the word to next and click OK. To color the windshield, first of all I'll probably set it to glass so that it's see-through and then come back up and on my color select the entire thing and then set it up to the general color that you want it. and if it won't let you apply that color to one piece of it you may have to go around and click the individual pieces and that gives you a finished windshield